Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Markets finished up mixed yesterday. You had corn and wheat slightly higher on the day while beans were lower. Flip-flop this morning, you've got corn and wheat lower on the day while beans are slightly higher. As discussed throughout the week, we've got the WASDE report coming up tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central. So let's take a look at the estimates here on the whiteboard. First thing we're going to go over is yield versus the September WASDE report. Then we'll go over production versus the September WASDE report. And then ending stocks for 2014-15 versus the September WASDE report. So in the black is the average trade estimates. And then in the blue is what we got in September from the USDA. So corn average trade estimate for yields com comes in at 174.7 bushels per acre. That's versus a September estimate of 171.7. So not much of a surprise there. If you've been watching the Wilkins Ag, we've been talking about how impressive yields have been so the USDA has had a month to see those come through so we should see that adjusted in the report and then also the bean yields expected increase as well expected to come at 47.6 bushels per acre versus 46.6 bushels per acre in the September report so one bushel per acre increase there uh, productions expected increase for corn coming at 14.506 billion bushels versus 14.395 in September and beans are expected to come in at 3.976 billion bushels, and that's versus 3.913 uh, in September. So higher yields, higher productions expected. Ending stocks expected to come in a little higher for corn, uh, 2.130 billion bushels versus 2.002 from the September report. And then beans are expected to come in at 472, and that's actually slightly lower than the, uh, the September S or WASI report of 475 million bushels. And then wheat's expected to increase slightly to 704 million bushels versus 698 in September report. So if you want to see the full spectrum of uh, the estimates for the report, check out the Wilkins Aguirre Grain Analyst.com. Uh, it'll be in there. Obviously, the whiteboard's only so big we can barely fit that information that we just went over on the board. So uh, if you want the full spectrum, it'll be in a nice table layout for you in those. So that's all we've got for today. Um, we'll go over those estimates again tomorrow, let you know if anything uh changes fundamentally other than what the WASI report estimates out there. Weather is kind of the same that we've been talking about right now. Yield reports continuing to impress. So it's um, all we've got for right now. We will see you tomorrow and get you prepared for that WASI report at 11 a.m. tomorrow. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure access at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.